Absolutely. It's not like these are conservative. Absolutely, that's my. These are not conservative Republicans. People. These aren't conservative Republicans who are concerned about Donald Trump. All of not. That's not right. All of these people, Jake, they came into office thinking that they could control Donald Trump. That when he said he wanted peace in the world, Mike Pence thought he could control Donald Trump. Yes, he did. And when he found out, (laughs) really, when he found out that he couldn't, they all turned on Donald Trump, and a lot of them got fired. And okay. we're running, and we're trying to staff the government with people who are going to govern according to principles of peace and prosperity. Let me ask you. They're pissed off about it. Let me ask you, because we're being told that we're over. Yeah. One more question, because yep. we have to go to this yep. rally. You are running to be vice president of the United States. Of course. And there is a 50-50 chance, maybe better, I don't know, that, it, you're, that you're going to succeed. Are you running to be vice president of the United States, or are you running to be vice president of the red states? Because if you win, and there's a decent chance you will, you're going to be vice president of childless cat ladies. You're going to be vice president of legal Haitian, Haitian migrants in Springfield, Ohio. You're going to be their vice president, too. Are you running to do that? Jake, of course I'm running to be the vice president of all Americans. I'm running because I want people to be able to afford a good life in this country. You know how I grew up. You know that I grew up in a family where things were often tough. I want, whether you're in a blue state or a red state, whether you're going to vote for Trump or you're going to vote for Harris, I want you to be able to have a good life in this country. But what's not going to happen with the broken leadership in Washington, D.C. Let me give you a statistic, Jake, because here is what the leadership of people like Kamala Harris and Nancy Pelosi and, yes, Mike Pence over 30 years in this country has led to. A person with a bachelor's degree lives seven years longer than a person without a bachelor's degree. There are a lot of people who have gotten rich and powerful off off of American decline. Some of them have had R's next to their name. Some of them have had D's next to their name. And the first person who I believe is really putting the interest of the American people first is Donald J. Trump. So, yes, we're going to be the president and the vice president for all people. The only way to do that is to reject the failed consensus.